gonna say? I don't know. It's recording. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Welcome to Roswell, New Mexico. We decided to take a. T yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Roswell, New Mexico, home of the UFO. Today we're taking a tour of the city, so we invite you to come along. And if you see any green men behind us, they work for the government. Sure. It's a little noisy out here, but we're going into the UFO International Museum here in downtown Roswell to check out and see what they've got. So Diane, what did you think of your visit to the UFO International Museum? Are you a believer? Yes. You I'm, are. I'm convinced. You're convinced? Yeah, I'm convinced that, yeah. Something happened here. Something happened here and... The government covered it up? Yep. I think the government covered it up. But I think it was real. Yeah? You think it was something from outer space? Yeah, I do. Yeah? I do. I wonder... So, the thing that gets me is... Why haven't we heard about them landing someplace else? Well, how do you know they haven't? Oh. There's no way. You don't know. You don't know, huh? You don't they, know? Could, they could be living amongst us and we wouldn't know. You know, they did mention that they were about 50, 50 inches tall. and No, 60 inches tall. Oh. And they traveled in a silver vehicle. Ooh. They kind of foil colored. Um, what do I know about you? <laughs> really? How do you know that I'm not an alien? That could be. Could explain a lot. It, <laughs> tell me about it. It could explain <laughs> all kinds of things. Yeah. All right. But, you know, it makes you wonder. Yeah. The museum is very entertaining. Um, they do have a lot of uh, uh, displays and you know, things to read and some videos and such. And it is, they do put on a very compelling story on what happened. Yeah, and, they, they, yep, they do. And they also talk about, you know, some of the effects of, you know, this, how it's affected the community and not so much the community itself, but maybe movies and, you know, and, you know, and our lives, how, you know, this has happened and how it kind of. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, we can't believe that we are the only existence there is. You don't think so, huh? You think no. That, yeah. No. We just haven't, if we ever will, discover it. But so, so, where have you been? Where you, you know, are you coming back? Am I coming back? No, the aliens. Oh. Where have they been? Are they coming back? I mean, what's next, right? Right, right. right. It's something to think about. That's true. Right. All right. Well, let's check it out. See what else we can find in this little town. Okay. While in New Mexico, the Zephyr Travels crew stayed at Bottomless Lake State Park.
taken a walk around the campground, Bottomless Lake, Lake State Park, and it is very nice. It's pretty good size, and yeah, it's very well kept up. Yeah, there's about 30 camp uh, sites in the section we're in. I think there's a, another section or so that don't have electricity, not, don't have hookups. All right. But and you can tent or camp there. Yep. And there's a few tent sites in this section, too. And they do require reservations. Yep. Cost is about $18 a night, which is very reasonable. I think it's a little bit more if you get sewer. Yeah. So, yeah, that is very reasonable. That's what we've been experiencing, some pretty reasonable camping uh, costs. Yeah, here in New Mexico, the state parks have all been uh, $18 a night for electric and um, you know, and some of them electric and water, like here. Yeah, so very reasonable. Yeah. And today is no clouds. It he, is cool with a little bit of breeze, but the sun makes it feel considerably warmer. Yeah, we had a cold night last night. It got down below 32. Our water hose froze. Hmm. I don't think anything broke this time, though, so. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's always good when, when things don't break. Right. Yep. Yeah, we decided to take a little tour around and show you, and uh, we would recommend it, and yes, we would come back. Yeah, it's not far. It's only about 14 miles into the city of Roswell, so you can stay here, drive into the city, and, and see uh, you know, the UFO Museum and some of the other sites there. It's about 90 miles down to Cowsbad Canyon, so that's not too bad of a drive from here. Yeah, you know, it's a couple hours each way. So yeah, it, it's convenient and it's it's very scenic. There's hills around, and I understand there's also some hiking trails. Yeah, yeah, there are some hiking trails here in the in the park. There's also a boardwalk through a marsh area with a lot of uh, informative signs that will tell you about the area. Yeah, so it is a very nice park. It is. So we'll continue along on our tour of the campground. Okay. This is Leah Lake at Bottomus Lake State Park in New Mexico, just outside of Roswell. And this is actually a sinkhole that's about 90 feet deep. Now during the summertime, you can come here and you can do non-motorized boating, like kayaking or paddle boards. There's also a swimming area over here, picnic area on the other side, and then the campground on the side that we're standing right now. We're here in November, and obviously all of this stuff is closed for the season, but it looks like this could be a lot of fun on a nice hot summer day here in the New Mexico desert. down than the um, underground salt mine. Is it? Yeah, because that was 650 feet and this is close to 800 feet. Wow.
this is like this is like walking through a church mm -hmm. making our way towards the great room. I'm talking to the camera. We are making our way towards the great room. We are told to talk in a whisper because the voices carry so much in here. If you look very carefully, there's water. You really need to look up when you're in here because there's a lot of what you see on the ceiling, not just the ground level. It's probably hard to tell perspective in the video, but this is the big room. It is massive. They say it's size of multiple football fields. I think six football fields. It is huge. It just keeps going all the way around. That section of the tour is currently closed for the public. This is another view of the great room. I haven't already said this place just looks like a church. So we're make halfway through this. What do you think so far? It's amazing. Pretty impressive, isn't it? It is. It's, I mean, just the size of it. I know. And all the different formations. Mm hmm Yeah, it really is amazing.
We just finished our tour of Carlsbad Cavern, and I can tell you, it really is something to see. You feel like you're walking through a cathedral or something. It's just, you know, I mean, the fact that it's so quiet down there, and so in how it's lit and everything. Yeah, and it's approximately, what was it, 750 feet underground. Right. And uh, we took the easy way out, and we took the elevator but you can hike down to uh, the, the big room, I think they Yeah, call they call it. it the big room. Yeah, the and, big room. And the hike down is about a mile. Mm -hmm. And the walk through the big room, if you take the longer path, is about a mile and a half. Right, and it probably will take you... Took us two hours. Yeah, approximately two hours. Yeah. And we took our time, so... Yeah, we didn't rush through it. I think there were people walking through it a lot quicker than we were, but we didn't rush through it. No, and... Uh, no, and I wouldn't suggest you do because there really is a lot to see. There absolutely is. It's, it's, it's just really something. You, know, you can get audio tours. I didn't notice that when we got our tickets, but um, you can get an audio tour that will talk about the different things in the cave, but you don't need it. No. Plus, another benefit, if you have a National Park Pass, your admission is free. It's right. So it will save you $15 per person. Right. Which we... Um, we did. Right. Yep. Yeah, we took advantage of that. We definitely took advantage of that. So this is really impressive. Definitely a bucket list item to do. Yep. So if you're ever touring New Mexico, you want to be sure to visit Carl's Bad Cavern. That's right. Cause all you gotta smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make a time. Comment, say hi, hit the bell so I know I'll see you next time. Time